Well, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate uh, the opportunity to uh, talk about this important piece of legislation and for you setting the, uh, the hearing today. In my home state, mining has a long and a rich uh, history, uh, and that history is still being written today. Idaho, aptly named the Gem State, has produced world-class supplies of gold and silver from before its statehood, still does so today, and has produced minerals critical <clears throat> for defense needs from World War II through today. As we work to further advance security and clean energy capabilities and shore up supply chains, Idaho supply of critical and strategic minerals will, without a doubt, play a central role. Today, mining companies are held to rigorous environmental and reclamation standards throughout the mining process and are able to safely and sustainably extract important mineral resources. However, this was not always so. Uh, many long abandoned mines, while once a major boon to communities across the West, now pose serious environmental risks without having a party clearly responsible for them. I'm honored to partner with Senator Heinrich, uh, sponsoring Senate Bill 3571, uh, the Good Samaritan uh, Remediation of Hard Rock Mines Act, along with, as Senator Heinrich noted, an impressive and growing coalition of bipartisan sponsors. This bill is a reflection of years of collaboration among in interested parties, uh, or Good Samaritans, with genuine will to clean up these abandoned mines. My undergraduate studies uh, were in natural resources, and I've spent my entire adult life as a state senator, lieutenant governor, governor, and now here in the U.S. Senate, working to solve natural resource problems. I can tell you from experience, it is rare to have industry, conservation, and recreation groups rally around a singular uniting issue the way they have with this legislation. It's not unprecedented. Uh, in Idaho, when I was governor, we uh, undertook the invitation from President Bush at the time to write a roadless rule applicable to uh, our state. Uh, as you know, the roadless rule issue has been a vexing problem and continues to be a vexing problem all over America, except in Idaho. Uh, we wrote a roadless rule. When I say we, I mean Idahoans, and uh, in collaboration with the various stakeholders, we wrote uh, a roadless rule. Uh, that uh, survived the test in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, believe it or not, and uh, is, the, is the law today applicable in Idaho. Uh, I have to thank uh, all of the uh, uh, parties that uh, helped develop that road rules rule, and uh, the type of support I had there and on this bill is a testament to how important and timely uh, this bill is. We have good faith actors and good faith actors are always a necessary ingredient when you're trying to do this. And these, these good faith actors are ready and invested in remediating these legacy sites. I uh, wouldn't, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge my good friend Chris Wood, who's here today. Chris uh, heads Trout Unlimited and was an incredibly valuable partner as we developed the roadless rule for Idaho and then uh, went through the courts uh, sustaining it. Uh, Chris purports to be an environmentalist. One of the little known facts is that he makes a pilgrimage every fall to one of our western states to try to help disseminate our, or decimate our elk herds. Fortunately, he's a much better trout fisherman than he is elk hunter. <laughs> uh, we owe it to uh, our western communities and to all Americans who hold dear our vast public lands to empower and, and encourage them to do what's allowed under this bill. I appreciate the step this committee is taking to do this and by discussing this legislation, and I hope it will be the first step in its swift advancement, which, as both of you have noted, is long, long overdue. Again, I appreciate this opportunity to speak on this topic. I appreciate the partnership with uh, Senator Heinrich, and uh, this is critical for communities across Idaho and across the West. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.